Hey guys, welcome to my channel, or hi if you're new, it's Libby. Today I'm going to be doing my March book haul. So, I have quite a few books here that I bought in March. I have not necessarily a mix, but it's a mix of two different books. Well, one of a different genre. So, I have Romance, YA, and manga. I have one YA. So I'm going to go through the manga first because they're right here in the stack. So I got volumes 31, 32, and 33 of Haiku. You guys know I've talked about the series enough. I haven't read these volumes yet, but I've talked about the series enough on my channel already. You guys are probably sick of it, but I will probably never shut up because I also have a poster back there, if you can't tell, of this series because I enjoy it so much. And if you haven't read or watched the anime, highly, highly recommend. It's really good. So there's that. One that'll be in my March wrap up is Spy Family Volume 9 by Kazuke Endo. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the author's name wrong, but this is the latest volume that came out this month and I really enjoyed it. So, Becky is really cute. She becomes best friends with Anya, who is our main character, one of our main characters in here. I'm pretty sure you guys know what this is already because everybody is talking about it, so yes, I also read and bought Spy Family Volume 9. I don't know how long the series is going to be, so I think that right now it's only going to be a 10 book series, but it could be longer. We'll see together. So this was really good. I enjoyed it. Highly recommend that as well. The last two mangas that I bought are a continuation to a series that I bought a long time ago. Haven't continued it, so so when the manga were buy one get one half off, I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and buy them. You guys would have already seen these in my weekly vlog that went up on Monday, but I have Death Note Volume 2 and Death Note Volume 3. These are the black editions. I really enjoy them. This is about our main character who I don't remember his name. Um, oh, Light. He finds a book. He finds the Death Note. It's a notebook dropped by a rogue somebody. And then every time he writes a name in the book, that person dies and the story goes from there. I've only read the first two volumes but I really need to go back and reread them. I have yet to watch the anime. I need to. So I got three and four, five and six to continue Death Note. So I'm excited to continue them and see where the story goes. So if you've read it, please let me know down below. So those were the manga that I got. Next, I'm going to go for the romance because that is on top. I've read two of the six romances that I bought this month. So one, which I know nothing about. So we're just going to dive into that one. It's for the Bookish Streamers Book Club pick for April. Ooh. Uh, over on Instagram and that is The Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. This is going to be my first Lucy Score book. It's a chunker. So, and this is the one I know nothing about. The person I know who reads Lucy Score is Sarah Coroli. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing her last name wrong, but I will link her channel down below. Recently found her and love her videos. So, um, this is a chunky book, so I know nothing about it. So, we're going to dive in together for the book club and see what 
happens. All I know is it follows two sister, two twin sisters, and her twin takes her sister's car and cash and leaves behind her daughter. So, but I'm excited to dive in and we'll go from there. The next book, the next four is a part are all part of the series. And I read the first one and fell in love with it. You guys will know if you watch my vlog. And this was amazing. I gave it five stars. And that is Throttled by Lauren Asher. This follows Formula One Racing and we follow Maya and Noah. Maya is Noah's newest teammate in this book. And Maya and Noah start having feelings for each other even though for Noah it's forbidden because Maya is his teammate's sister. So, but I really enjoyed Throttled. I really enjoyed the sport that was involved in here and I'm excited to continue the next three which I'm going to talk about in a second. So we have Throttled. Then we have Collided, which follows Sophie and Lim. You meet them in Throttled. So we have Collided. Then we have Wrecked, which follows Elena and Jax. Jax you also meet in the first book. And then we have Redeemed, and this follows Chloe and Santiago. Santiago is Maya's older brother who signed on the team that Noah is on. So this is his story. And these all follow Formula One racing. So I cannot wait to read these three books and continue the series in the month of March. So they're definitely on my March TBR, so you will see them again in that video. I also read another almost five star. Did not quite give it five stars because of a certain character. You guys will hear my thoughts in my wrap up. But I've mentioned it in my vlog. This one character in this book was relatively annoying and toxic and not that great at all. And that is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. Now this one I really enjoyed. So I gave this a 4.75 stars on Goodreads. I might round it up to 5 on Goodreads, but I really enjoyed this one. This follows Nate, who is a team, team captain of his hockey team, and what's her name? Anastasia, who is a pair figure skater. And they don't these two intertwine when something happens to his coaches ice skating rink and they have to share the rink so really enjoyed really good and i can't wait for wildfire which is the sequel which follows russ who is one of nathan's teammates so i'm excited to see where this one where that goes but i have to wait till october for it and then the last book that i got which is a ya and it's part of the twisted tale series and I have not read this one yet. I got Almost There by Freira. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the author's name. But this is Tiana's story. What if Tiana made a deal that changed everything? So I'm excited to read this. My friend is reading this right now or she has finished it. I'm not 100% sure. But this is a twist on Princess and the Frog. So... I'm excited to read this and see where this goes. So those are all of the 13 books that I bought this month. If you've read any of them, let me know down below and like, subscribe, stay a while, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.